They say time heals all wounds, including pain. I believe the pain doesn't necessarily ever go away, but you learn to live with it. My name is Kathy Greer, and I'm a mom to amazing daughters. And I also had a third daughter, Michelle. Michelle Leslie Greer was born July 30th, 1990. She completed us as a family. She completed me as a mom. In March of 2007, at age 17, Michelle was diagnosed with a very rare form of kidney cancer. Michelle was hospitalized. They removed her left kidney, taking out the entire tumor. We walked out of there with Michelle being in the 90th percentile to survive. In that 90th percentile, the cancer should not return. One night after going up to Central Michigan for a visit, she put her head in my lap and said, it's gonna come back. And I told her, oh, absolutely not. And I didn't think that it was going to. And she said, you don't understand. I think it's going to come back. Three years later, she is now 19. The kidney cancer that they thought was gone had spread. It was completely in her chest, in her lungs, in her lymph nodes, and a tumor was wrapped around her pulmonary artery. There was no question that she would not survive this. While focusing every bit of energy and prayers on her, I was having terrible back pain. Not wanting to, I went into the doctor to get an exam. The MRIs had come back and I had nine tumors on my spine and I was told I would have three to six months to live. Michelle and I were not gonna survive this cancer. I needed an emergency operation on my back. I was in the hospital for a week. My doctor was very confident that he had gotten all of the tumors off my spine and I left with a turtle brace and I still was not expected to survive. The week leading into Thanksgiving of 2010, Michelle was 20. Her body started to significantly fail. She was under 70 pounds. Her organs were shutting down. Cancer was eating her up from the inside out. So they wanted to put her to sleep to make her comfortable. I asked her, do you understand what they are saying? Michelle looked at me and said, I'm going to heaven. Are you coming too? And at that time I thought I was. So I answered honestly and said, um, I'm coming soon. I got in bed with her and I didn't want to get back out. My sister drove in from Chicago that night and I held Michelle's hand and my sister captured that moment. Michelle's body gave out the next morning. She left me the same way she came into my life. I was in a hospital bed holding her and she consumed my entire heart. The day she was born and the day she left, After Michelle's death, I was given the news that stage four cancer was no longer in my body. I was told that medical miracles happen, and my only thought that day was that I wanted that for my baby girl, for Michelle. 10 years of grieving Michelle not being physically here with me, with our family, but 10 years of feeling her and knowing she is with us. While I don't know if I'm worthy, I do know that I have been blessed and I continue to be blessed. It is not what's been lost, but what I had and what I still have every single day.